Joining us from Washington is National Security Council Chief of Staff Dennis McDonough. Dennis, good morning. Good morning, Harry. Thanks for having me. Uh, you were in the meeting yesterday. What was the mood like in there? Well, I think it was struck uh, everybody at, at present in the meeting that there was a sense of urgency uh, communicated by the president to resolve these issues that we've all identified. But there is also a great team spirit, a recognition that everybody uh, took responsibility. Everybody uh, had already begun to up their game, and everybody recognized the need to continue to do that. Uh, we want to make sure that we stay as agile as uh, our enemy here that we're adapting, that we're learning as we have so far from the interrogation of this uh, uh, would-be terrorist. And we're going to make sure that we uh, follow through on uh, all the leads the president pointed out yesterday in his statement. The president said yesterday we dodged a bullet, but just barely. Was there also, did the people in the room realize the gravity of what almost happened Christmas Day? There's no question they recognize the gravity of it. In fact, uh, the, many of them and many of their staffs have worked uh, overtime over the course of the last 10 days or so to get to the bottom of what happened, to learn some lessons out of this, and to make sure that we uh, not only understand what happened, but that we get a lot better as a result of it. <clears throat> uh, one of the other things the president said yesterday, I will accept that intelligence by its nature is imperfect, but it is increasingly clear that intelligence was not fully analyzed or fully leveraged. That's not acceptable, and I will not tolerate it. What does that mean? Well, I think we've seen over the course of this year at least three public examples, dozens of other examples of the intelligence community working extraordinarily well with other aspects of the federal government, with the military, with law enforcement. That has to do with David Coleman Headley out in Chicago, with his fellow Zazi in New York City, mm -hmm. and then obviously these five Pakistanis who were, or these five five guys who are going back to Pakistan Jihad, uh, right. to plot. That's correct. So those are the kind of uh, stunning successes that we've come to expect from our our intelligence community. So when we have a stumble like this one, it just makes everybody want to um, work all the harder so we can get back to the excellence that we've come to expect. And that's exactly what the president talked about with his team yesterday. Within the day or two that after this happened, the president began to talk about, use the word accountability. Will there be accountability? Will someone be held responsible for this? Well, I think the meeting yesterday struck that that tone very well, Harry. The fact is that everybody in the meeting, including the president, John Brennan, and others around the table, said that they recognize that they have a solemn responsibility to protect the American people and that they are going to get to the bottom of this. But here's what it won't be, a typical Washington blame game where people pass the buck and, and try to assign responsibility to somebody else. I think everybody in there accepts responsibility, accepts accountability, and we're not going to jump to any conclusions that we're going to work this review right through to the very end, and then we'll make some decisions. I'm sure the president will be his, uh, considering all those actions right now. All right, Mr. McDonough, thank you very much for your time this morning. Appreciate it. Thanks a lot, Harry. All right, now here's Megan.